Hello dear students, welcome to Pharmaceutics 1 Practical. In our today's practical, we are going to study Iodine Throat Paint BPC 1968. This is also known as Mendel's Paint. So let's begin with our today's practical. So as already said, synonym for Iodine Throat Paint is Mendel's Paint. Uh, students, let me tell you that paints are solutions in viscous vehicle that are meant to be applied to the skin or mucous membrane with the help of soft device such as brush or cotton. Okay, then throat paints that is the preparation that you are going to do today. They are viscous solutions that are meant to be applied for throat infection. Getting? So, the aim of today's practical is to prepare and submit throat paint that is Mendel's paint BPC 1968 30 ml. For this, you require apparatus like that of weighing balance, beaker, stirrer, measuring cylinder, mortar and pestle, etc. And chemicals that you need are potassium iodide, then iodine. You will sorry. You will also need peppermint oil, glycerin, alcohol 90% and water. So now let us look at the formula of this preparation. So formula of this preparation include potassium iodide 25 gram. So this is the standard formula and depending upon how much amount you are going to prepare, you will be calculating your working formula. Okay. So let's look at the standard formula first. So potassium iodide is 20 gram which act as solubilizer then you need iodine so iodine its quantity is 12.5 gram and it act as antiseptic antibacterial agent and anti-inflammatory you are going to use water 25 ml as a solvent then alcohol 90 percent that is you are going to use it 40 ml as a co-solvent which is also going to act as vehicle as well as preservative. So students, this co-solvent means suppose if you are going to uh, use the solvent and if your active ingredient is not going to get solubilized in the solvent at that time you can dissolve your active ingredient into the solvent and then you can add to the another solvent. So here this solvent which you are, you are using to help to make the drug solubilized that is called as co-solvent getting so alcohol act as co-solvent that is initially you can dissolve your drug in alcohol and then you can add it to the solvent okay so it is co-solvent then you are going to use peppermint oil 4 ml which is going to act as a flavoring agent and here you are going to use glycerin to make the volume up to 1000 ml okay so it is uh, your glycerin act as viscosity welder or viscosifying agent then sweetener as well as demulcent okay so now in the formula i have told to prepare 30 ml okay so likewise you are going to calculate the working formula for 30 ml okay now moving further to the theory so throat paints are viscous solution or dispersion of one or more active ingredients intended for application to the mucosa of the throat or mouth. Iodine throat paint is also called as painting the external throat with iodine which can reduce pain of the throat, make curve and even eliminate throat infection, boost overall immune function and help with the conditions such as tonsillitis, then pharyngitis, laryngitis and even more. Iodine is a naturally occurring mineral that the body needs to I mean to produce hormones and control the body's metabolism. In liquid form it also I mean it does act as antibacterial agent as well as anti-inflammatory agent. Getting now moving towards the calculation so potassium iodide for 1000 ml paint you require 25 gram of potassium iodide therefore for 30 ml paint you will require x gram of potassium iodide you can do the cross multiplication so x is equal to 25 into 30 upon 1000 so you will get 0 0.75 gram getting so you need 0 0.75 gram of 
potassium iodide for 30 ml. So if instead of 30 ml I have asked you to prepare 20 ml then you will be doing cross multiplication like 25 into 20 upon 1000 getting likewise you are going to calculate the quantity of iodine so iodine 12.5 into 30 upon 1000 so you will get 0 0.37 gram water 25 into 30 upon 1000 that is 0 0.75 ml further alcohol 90 percent you need 40 into 30 upon 1000 that is 1 1.2 ml and peppermint oil 4 into 30 upon 1000 that is 0 0.12 ml right and the remaining amount that is to make up the volume up to the 30 ml you are going to use glycerin getting so already in last practical I have told you to make up the volume that is quantity sufficient is nothing but you are not going to it you are not going to add 30 ml but you are going to add the remaining amount which is required to make it up to 30 ml getting so moving further to the procedure so what you are going to do exactly is you are going to clean all the glasswares and dry them properly then you are going to weigh required quantity of iodine and transfer it to the glass molder and pressure it to get a fine powder further you are going to weigh and dissolve potassium iodide in water you are going to add fine powdered iodine with continuous stirring in the above solution okay now in another beaker you are going to take 90 percent of alcohol and add required quantity of peppermint oil and half the quantity of glycerin and to this solution you are going to add to the above iodine and potassium iodide solution with continuous stirring getting I'll just repeat these steps. So what you have done, you have initially weighed the required quantity of iodine and you have transferred it to the motor and saturated. Then you have weighed and dissolved required quantity of potassium iodide in water and to that solution you have added iodine with continuous stirring. Getting, then you have taken another beaker. In that beaker which uh, you have added alcohol 90% right and you have added required quantity of peppermint oil and to that you have added half the quantity of glycerin that you need okay and this solution you have added to iodine and potassium iodide solution with continuous stirring i hope it is clear till now further you are going to pour this content into measuring cylinder and make up the volume to 30 ml sorry student that is a typing error it has to be 30 ml okay so by glycerin okay so with the help of glycerin you are going to make up the volume to 30 ml and not 20 ml and finally you are going to transfer the content to the amber colored wide mouth container and screw the cap tightly label and submit it okay so this is the procedure now the category of iodine throat paint is it is antiseptic antibacterial and anti-inflammatory agent then it is to be stored in a well closed container in cool and dark place and you are supposed to replace cap tightly after use okay so once you have used it you are supposed to close it tightly direction apply to the throat with cotton swab or soft hair brush and do not drink water immediately after application and not to be swallowed in large excess okay so these are some of the directions that are to be followed. I hope you have understood this practical. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you for watching this practical till end.